Welcome back to Flourish Field and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a ping ball game. Yes, I said it a ping ball game. Now let's get started. This is how the ping ball game works. The first controller, the first um, user will control the down one and then the second one and then this is how it works. Can you see? Now when it, now it keeps taking score of each user. Can you see that? Oops. Now you see that? That's one one. Uh, this is how the game is going to be. Fun, right? That's it. That's it. Two one and then so we're going to be implementing all the skills that we have learned in this channel from variables to loops to conditional statements to all of those things and then we're going, to, we're going to see how we can create this now let's get started now to start we are going to create our paddles now to create your paddles you just come to sprites and then click on paint and then you select a rectangle and now we draw our paddle okay sorry about that okay we draw our paddle not into serious or something simple. All right, that's it. And then you change the color. You change the color to something pink. All right, that's the first one. After you've done that, all you need to do is just to duplicate because you don't want different sizes, okay? All right, so select the pointer, select, and then you pick a color. All these are not new because we've done that in the previous videos. All right, I'll just pick different colors. Okay, that's it. All right, we have two paddles, and then we're ready to, you know, control our paddles. Okay, remember, our first paddle will be up here, somewhere around there, and the second paddle will be somewhere around there. And then we're ready to, you know, play this game. Now, to play the game, we need a ball. So we select um, two sprite, and then we'll pick any ball. We can pick this basketball or this ball right there. But I think I'll pick a tennis ball. A tennis ball. All right, this is it. And then I make the size a bit smaller. Say um, 70. All right, so uh, that's it. All right, now, the first thing we want to do, what we're going to be achieving in this video is to make sure that our paddle moves left and right. So that's the first thing, and then we go ahead in the next video to move our, you know, our ball and then you know we keep doing like that so now to move the paddle all we need to do is come to the first paddle and then um, always start with an event and then we we'll see um, when flag is clicked that's an event okay so we want um, the sprites to start moving when we click our um, events and then we we want it to move that in sense that okay okay this is the first one all right, sorry, it's when flag is clicked. Now we want this sprite to move in, in such a way that okay, when we press the left arrow key, move to the left, and we'll press the right arrow key, move to the right. So, how do we achieve that? To achieve that, uh, you come to forever loop. Now, the reason why we are using forever loop is because we want it to continue doing that whenever we press our right or left arrow key. We want it to continue doing that, so that's why we're using forever loop, and then we're going to put a condition. Now, the condition would be that so when we press our left arrow key, we want it to move. So we come to sensing, and then we see what when key is pressed. Now, when key is pressed, which key are we talking about here? Now, when right key is pressed, we want it to move to the right. So you come to motion, and then to move to the right, I want to show you something first before I continue with this code. So can we all drag this? Um, go to Oh, no, let's leave, let's leave it like this. Now, let's come to this angle right here. Now, for you to make sure you understand coordinates, all right, so let's make sure this is zero. Oh, no, I'm talking about the ball right now, so we can use the ball for explanation. Now, let's make sure this is zero. Why am I going back to the, okay, the ball? And this is zero. Now, for the ball to move to the right, we just need to change X by whatever number we want to change. So if you change this by 10, if you change X by 10, and then press enter, you see it's moved to the right. So for you to make your paddle move to the right, you need to change what? X by 10. So what we do is just come here and say what? Um, change X by 10. So that means 
our paddle will move to the right. So if you click on it once now and see. Now when right arrow key is first, sorry. So our paddle will move to the right. So all you need to do is just to, you know, duplicate for the left. And then you change this one to what? Left. Now because we are moving to the right with positive numbers, to move to the left, you only need to just change this to what? Um, negative 10 and then that's all so you drag all of this code and put it inside the forever loop because we want you to keep doing that forever so now this is the code to move our paddle to the left or right now when you click on the flag now when you press the left arrow key you see it moves to the left you press the right arrow key you move to the right so that's how to control the paddle that's the first thing we have done and now to make sure your second uh, paddle execute the same thing as the first one, all you need to do is just to, you know, hold down the uh, left uh, button on your mouse and then you drag it to the to the first to the first sprite and then you release. So now you see that what our two sprites already have all of this, but now we want to tell the sprites. We don't want it to, you know, have the same key. Because if you leave it like this, and then you click on the flag, whenever you press let's see the two moves together. We don't want that to happen to our code. So what we do is to change the key. Now, on our keyboard, our A, we want our A, alphabet A, to move to the left. So you come here, and then you just choose your A. Your A. And then you come to this one. And choose your your D now like this and then if you click on the flag right now it controls our paddle to move left and right so now you click on the flag so when I press my A you see the up one is moving I press my D now when I press my left arrow key you can see so we can have two different user operating on two different paddles now this would be the end of the first video with the part one of our, our ping ball game in the next video i'm going to show you how to control the ball and then you know continue um, our game all right i hope you enjoy this and then um, stay tuned for the next um video for the next video yeah um, stay blessed and then keep flourishing and remember to subscribe to this channel for more interesting stuff all right see you guys in the next video